So you want to send somebody to buy a gift in a store, and uh, you don't know how much they're going to buy, but it's something between zero and one hundred dollars. Okay, so. And then, to do this, you need to give some checks. So you're going to write three checks. Okay? And then the person who has a check can pay by using one or two or all three checks. Okay? Once they pay, they cannot get change. Okay? So you don't want to overpay so much. So what is the best three amounts that you put on your three checks in such a way that it will minimize the worst case overpay at the store. So we don't know the price of the three things we're buying before we go to the no, store. No, you buy one thing. One thing at the store. Okay. But we don't know the actual price before we get there. Okay. So let me give an example of non-optimal. Suppose you have 30, 30, and 40. Okay. So if it's $100, you give three checks. If it's 50, then what do you do? Four. Well, you give this and this, you give 60, so you get $10 over pay. Okay? So, well, what if it's 5 bucks? If it's 5 bucks, then you give 30, then you get 25 over pay. So you can try to figure out what is the worst case. But there are some amount of checks. Okay? So, I guess I'll have two problems. One is a little bit simpler than the other. One is you only use whole dollars means that the price is a uh, is five dollar or six dollars but not five fifty and the checks are also all